Hi, my name is Fernando, and I'm a technical marketing manager here at GitLab. Today, I'm going to go over some of the new features in the 13.5 release. So the first feature I'm going to go over is customizing SAST and secret detection rules. And what this does is it allows you to modify your existing SAS rules as well as modify your existing secret uh, detection rules and be able to remove some of those rules from, from actually being used in the scans. So why is this important? Well, this is important because it allows better customization of your SAS scanner and secret detection scanner to go ahead and run custom rule sets, um, make the, the current rules you know, more custom to your organization's needs. Same thing, for example, like um, for secret detection, instead of maybe there's weird types of formats for secrets that you use that you put within, that you can put within code and we want to detect those, we want to add more instead of just scanning for a password or passwd or the default ones, we want to add more. And now I'm going to show you that in a demo. Um, one thing to note that right now is that this is available in the SAS for Node.js and Golang. And these customizations can be provided uh, by editing a TOML file. And now, yeah, let me jump into this demo. So I've created this project um, called Tiny Micro. It's just a simple uh, Go microservice. Um, and I'm going to show you how this works. So I have a .gitlab uh, folder with the SAS rule set.toml. And what this is doing is um, it's setting a custom rule set for Golang and it's going to, um, uh, for GoSec. And what it's going to do is it's going to use this um, file as the custom rule set file. So you can see that we're going to use the GoSec config.json to customize the GoSec scanner. And what I do here is I go to the GoSec config and I created this, which checks for certain patterns or certain strings. And I added the weird pattern. So uh, the default one looked exactly like this uh, without the weird. So now I added a pattern to detect anything that has weird in it as a possible hard coded secret vulnerability. And I went ahead and changed the entropy and you can read all about this within GoSec, but um, so now looking at my main.go, you can see that I just print, I just have a variable named weird and I'm just printing that out. And if I go to the security dashboard to see the vulnerabilities detected within the master branch, which that's in, you can see a vulnerability for potentially hard coded credentials. And there you're going to see um, that there's a potentially hard coded credential. I go to location, which is in main.go um, 26, and you can see it points to my um, weird variable. So that's one thing um, I wanted to note. Now, um, and that this makes it very, very useful for um, just expanding these rule sets and adding different things and different configurations. The rules are of course different in the Node.js. It just depends on the scanner, what you can customize. And you can see that within the documentation.